last week won't be considered this session after last week's floor deadline passed. One of the most controversial bills to not move forward would allow parents to take tax money spent for public schools and use it for private schools. Supporters of the bill said it was about giving parents a choice in their child's education. Critics said it would have a devastating financial impact on public schools. The full Senate narrowly defeated the bill which had the support of the governor. Their supporters say they will continue to push for the measure, but the House leadership said multiple times that they won't see the bill this year. The state house approved a bill that would ban almost all abortions in Oklahoma. It's modeled after a law in Texas that would make enforcement a civil issue rather than a government-enforced ban. The bill would allow almost anyone to sue anyone involved in performing the abortion. The state senate already passed similar legislation. Both bills passed along party lines. Republicans hold a supermajority in both the House and the Senate. The bills would have to be heard in the opposite chambers before either being reconciled into one bill or passed into the governor. The governor will have the final say on a bill that would ban transgender women from playing on women's sports teams. The bill was first introduced last year as the Save Women's Sports Act. The Senate gave its final stamp of approval last week, which moves it to the governor for his approval. In national news, actor Will Smith apologized directly to comedian Chris Rock after he slapped him during the Oscars. In an Instagram post, Smith apologized for his behavior and said in part, Violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are part of the job. But a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has launched a formal review of the incident and are exploring a range of potential consequences for Smith's behavior. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us and be sure to keep checking out our website and social media pages for more news from our team of student journalists.